Like you just can't cram planets any closer together. So what is our current belief system when it comes to the formation of solar systems? It appears to be very common. I mean, when we look at the data we have from the Kepler mission, NASA's extraordinarily successful mission, it detected itself something like 4,000 exoplanets. And that tells us that on average, every single star has a planet. So as far as we can tell, this is, it, it's pretty hard for a star not to have planets. It's like par for the course for that to happen. Right. That was a big breakthrough. Um, the second thing is, as, as we kind of alluded to, there's a huge diversity in them. And the actual story we normally describe for how they form is that there's some, you know, giant molecular cloud, we call it. So basically a giant cloud of hydrogen in space. Stuff that could have been blown off from a previous supernova or something, or maybe even in the early universe, just primordial gas from the Big Bang, just this leftover hydrogen gas. And if there's be some areas where there'll be slightly higher density and some areas where there's slightly lower density just due to random fluctuations, and the higher densities will self-gravitate.